on this childish episode of the NES Pursuit. We're not doing the challenge. <laughs> Ricky and Riff tread early morning grounds with dreams of retro loot lurking in their minds. Back at it at 5 a.m. I'm going to Riff's house. Riff may finally have found a good deal on something he has been looking for for quite some time now. We just walked up and he's just pulling this stuff out. Any collector knows when you see cables and cords, more games must be on board. But this shows us that there's video games here somewhere. And Riff and Ricky get their giggles on as they decide to do a challenge that leaves them laughing to no end. <laughs> oh no, not at Ready your laughing gas and prepare for peewee imitations, green games, failed dealings, furry heads, and a flea market find that is larger than life. This is the NES Pursuit. I wasn't ready for an actual offer to be made. Should I buy this? Adam, Ricky, should, should I buy this? I'm going to Riff's house and we're gonna pick up his brother Adam. Today we wake up at 5 a.m. super early, debatably a little too early, and we go pick up my brother Adam, who's been in some of the older Retro Liberty videos and likes to support Retro Liberty. All right, it is like 5.30 in the morning. We're out here at Golden West. It's dark, it's cold, and we go out to another swap meet while the rest of the world sleeps. So let's dive into it. The Sega Master System sold well in Europe, but in Japan and the US, it struggled. In fact, it was Sega's first console flop. All right, it's still pretty dark out here. I mean, not super dark, but it's like, you know when it's like hazy. Space Jam hat. Still the coolest basketball player, Michael Jordan. And we're walking around. I never look at hats. That's that's Riff's thing. Riff's, Riff's the hat guy. Okay, maybe not. I like hats too. Michael Jordan's the basketball player, in my opinion. This is a nice hat though, dude. And I see this little orange emblem on it. I was like, that looks very familiar. I walk up to it. I'll pick it up, but if you buy want it, it. No, buy it. I think you should buy that. You've always, you always talk about Space Jam. Come on in, Jam. And it's a Space Jam hat. I asked the price. He said a dollar for Space Jam hat. A dollar. So you know what? I had to pick it up. Wow, Space Jam that <laughs> deal is out of this world. Whoa. <laughs> da -da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Left hand. Oh, sometimes. <laughs> yep, I made joke today. I, I made a big joke. Oh my gosh, this thing smells. <laughs> the swap meet and we see a booth that catches our eye because we see some video games but also a ton of vintage and cool toys and this place is called Gumby's Hobbies and they have a great selection and right away <laughs> <laughs> this is exactly how Pee Wee sounds <laughs> I see something that totally totally gets me excited and this is two vintage 1987 Pee Wee Herman talking dolls became very popular in the 1980s, mostly for his hit show, Pee-wee's Playhouse. In 1991, Paul Rubens got in trouble with some explicit charges, but has since bounced back, landing more roles and even as Penguin's father in Gotham. We just walked up and he's just pulling this stuff out. And uh... I love Pee Wee Herman stuff. And these dolls normally go for like $60 to $80 each, but he offers. He said he would do both for 25, it's not bad. 25 bucks for both of them. And I'm like, but do you want any part of this? 
I don't know if I want this. <laughs> then I, got I don't know if I really need two of them. How much for just one? How much for just one? What would you do on one? Because I don't think he wants one. And he says 15 bucks. I take 15 bucks. This is a good deal. Do it. Yeah, go ahead. All right. Nice. See, but one? then, as we're about to leave, <laughs> he offers both of them. Both. I ended up paying $10 for two Paul Rubens Pee Wee. And then he goes, you know what? You guys are cool. Take the other one for free. That was awesome. 10 bucks for two vintage Pee Wees? I meant to do that. I meant to do that. That's why we tell people who <laughs> hate on resellers to be nice, be kind. People are cool if you're, do I see stuff over there? No. People are cool if you're cool with <laughs> I'm a loner, Dottie, a rebel. <laughs> wow, finally my first sealed Xbox 360 game. Cruising, as always, and we look over once again. I honestly, oh look, I'm, I might get this actually. Simpsons nice. Hit and Run. I like this game a lot, depending on the price. So we finally found games. Wii games, Xbox 360 games, Xbox games. Simpsons Hit and Run. Let's see what else. And I love big bins lately. When I see big bins full of a lot of games, I get excited. Ooh. Final Fantasy. And something I've been diving into way more than usual, and it keeps getting me and keeps getting my attention is Xbox games. And this bin had Xbox games. Come on. Five dollars each. Five each? Yes. You know, I'm, I'm kind of learning that's like the run of the mill price lately. I'm learning five bucks each. But for me, for five bucks, the games I wanted to pick up for five bucks each, um, I'm down to get two. If I'm going to get two, I'm going to get Simpsons Hit and Run, which, you, which I used to play all the time at Andy's house. Uh, I'd say underrated game. A lot of people hate on a lot of the Simpsons games. I say this is a good one. I love it. And another one, another game is Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, which I never really got to play very much. Even though I played this more, I've played it a million times in every different way. But Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, I haven't really dove into too much at all. But this is one of those games when I picked up and I'm like, should I get this? I could see my brother behind the camera like nodding his head like, yes. Adam behind the camera is literally like, <laughs> Right now, so <laughs> it gets Adam's thumb of approval. That's what I picked up, and uh, I had some fun with it. And Anakin Skywalker, no matter what anyone says, he's my hero. You thunder against me! He did kill kids. And I slaughtered them like animals. Riff was over there picking out some things. I was picking up. I, I was just picking up two games, but I only ended up getting one. Oh my gosh, I love this game. <laughs> Kelly Slater's Prozer. Kelly Slater's Pro Surfer. I, I didn't even know they had it for GameCube. I thought it was only a strictly Xbox and PS2. Me and Riff used to play this game a ton back in the day. I was gonna get Skate 3, but it is probably not as great as I remember it, but the memories alone make up for it. And it's for GameCube. If it was PS2, I wouldn't get it. <laughs> Just straight up. We got older. Bet. <laughs> Maybe me. This dude still runs like five miles a day. <laughs> now you're a part of the squad. Shut up, Gabo. You suck. <laughs> I know about you guys, but I want to get me some racing grannies. We've been browsing for a little while. We're starting to kind of go on a dry run and we got a little scared. We're like, oh, we're not gonna have any footage. What are we supposed to do here? We haven't found too much today. A couple cool things, but we have to mix it up. So we're gonna do a $5, not $5 good game challenge, not $5 bad game challenge, $5 stupid gift challenge. Basically you have five bucks, you get to spend that five bucks. And so yes. we have to find something stupid. The other person has to wear it. And that's just how it goes. I kind of go back to the retro hunters for this. Is it the $5 challenge? It is absolutely the $5 challenge. Whatever you can buy within your $5, you can make the other person wear. We're gonna do this $5 challenge. I'm actually worried because Riff has an imagination when it comes to $5 like weird, ridiculous things. Give a little twist to the game hunting experience. <laughs> so let the games begin. Ah! Round one, fight. Yeah, you have a bad back, dude. 
Now you're part of the squad. I still feel good. <laughs> you smell it? I smell Nintendo. See, look, if you ever see gaming accessories lying around, but this shows us that there's video games here somewhere. And Keep digging because there's normally other stuff. <laughs> and I happened to find at a booth an NES controller, which isn't the most exciting thing. There's a, oh, by the way, a really clean controller. But the guy says a buck. If you can get a controller for a buck that seems to be in good condition. How much is this? Uh, one dollar. One buck? I'll take it. It is by far worth getting. Nintendo mm -hmm. controller for one dollar. <laughs> What? Probably the most iconic controller of all time. I would say anything is worth it for a dollar. And I mean anything. <whistles> Pervert. <laughs> <laughs> now you're a part of the squad. I'm like, dude, if he found NES, an NES controller, there's gotta be an NES somewhere around here. So I'm running around just kind of looking down that little aisle booth, whatever that is. Oh, okay. A red wheat. That guy's gonna make a Hollywood How much of the weird we I love how we did all the colors, and this is one of those cool colors. It's like the Mario color. <laughs> 20 bucks? Hey, total bomb. Total bomb. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't pick it up. I honestly asked the guy, I'm like, hey, how much? He's like, 20 bucks. I'm like, dude, that's pretty cheap. It's actually not bad. I just don't know if it works. That's the only problem. Well, how much for just the Wiimote? Three bucks for the remote. So. <laughs> what? <laughs> Got him. <laughs> he said three dollars. So I was like, he said that uh, twenty for everything. Would you do fifteen? No. Oh, I just ended up getting the Wii Mote. I should have gotten the whole thing, but you know, man, it was this close. I think I'll just get the Wii Mote then. I can trade in the Wii Mote. <laughs> I just wanted it for trade. I bought the Wii Mote for three bucks. Three bucks, muy bueno. I regret lots of things. $5 challenge. I'm desperate to find anything. We're walking and I see Ricky's dumb face get excited and he's like, oh boy, Adam, are you filming? Oh no. I look over at the, bo the booth where we actually got the Xbox games. <laughs> Ricky grabs this ugly, long looking Ewok bear looking hat beanie thing. I had to ask how much. The guy said five bucks. I'm like, dude, I'm not gonna do it if I have to blow all of it in one shot. I'm like, will you do two dollars? Those? Yeah. How much? Two bucks. He gives you three more bucks to spend. And he gets it for a few bucks, so he still got money to spare. Put that on. Hey, it's kind of cool. It's like Splatoon, but hairy. <laughs> <laughs> I was so excited to show Riff. I'm a furry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, look, Ricky. Ricky. <laughs> And I'm looking like an idiot, feeling kind of dumb. Like, I have to wear this thing for the rest of the day. It's gonna make me hot. <laughs> oh my gosh, it was awesome. And I see the perfect gift for Ricky just around the corner. Oh my gosh. How much is this big sombrero? So, as soon as I buy something, of course, Riff already has something. Oh, perfect. Thank you so much. Wow. And it's a giant big sombrero. This isn't just like a little sombrero for, for little Jesus. This is big, big sombrero for like the real Jesus. This is Jesus, actual Jesus level sombrero. Nothing says Ricky more. Dude, it's humongous. It's like a, I didn't know it was that big until I saw it on camera myself. <laughs> I loved it. Somehow I feel so at home. <laughs> and I'm excited and I'm feeling good until I see Ricky look over. Okay, uh, this is, uh, $3. You gotta be kidding me. I regret lots of things. I look over, this lady has used wigs. <laughs> <laughs> if I can get one of these wigs for a buck, I'm gonna get it. <laughs> so I'm right there trying to decide whether I'm gonna make 
Riff, a brunette or a blonde? Are you getting so <laughs> The lady said the brunette one was better, so I went with that. Oh, all right. And he picks up. The most disgusting, ugly looking wig I've ever seen. When Riff put that in his head, it was fantastic. I am glad she told me that. This is <laughs> such disgusting. I feel so itchy right now, bro. I'm so glad I didn't put that thing on. <laughs> I just love one dollar left. <laughs> All right, let's go. Come on, Adam. Let's go. So he has to wear a big sombrero and I gotta wear lice infested hat stuff. Oh my gosh, I look awesome. <laughs> bro, I look, I look awesome. And I end up having to wear that as well. I'm not gonna lie, I, I actually thought I looked kind of cool with, with the beanie. I didn't realize how cool I actually looked with this oh, thing. Yeah. But I felt so itchy. <laughs> we'll see if he gets me anything else. We're such idiots. <laughs> One more dollar to go, so I'm literally looking everywhere for any item that's a dollar. <laughs> Ricky has this dumb grin again, and he's like, Are you guys filming again? And I'm like, Oh no, and he picks up <laughs> my last dollar. They say two dollars. I'm like, Please, will you do one dollar? They agreed. Wow. These are legit pretty nice. Wow. Look at that. And I completed Riff's costume. There you go. Rockstar. <laughs> These pink like flamingo looking weird glasses that just make me look like an idiot at this point. Yeah, baby! <laughs> he now looks amazing. He looks like the guy that should have been next to Slash on Guns, Guns N' Roses, like a sweet outfit. <laughs> Dude, you know when I go like this, my, my hat bounces and be like, yeah. Judge, 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 judge. I already look like a little bit of an idiot, but now he's like full idiot. <laughs> this sucks. I don't know why people watch. Do you know why people watch, Ricky? So Ricky's looking at some amiibos. We're kind of poking around at him, kind of trying to get a good deal. How much is that for both? 15 for both. You know, but do you know how hard it is to get a deal when you're dressed like that? 15 for both firm. Yeah. You need them? I'm not an amiibo guy too much. And I turn around. And I'm like, wow. Look at this. What? Oh! I really like this giant Mikey, this giant Michelangelo Ninja Turtles, giant four foot thing. So I go over it just to kind of play around with and make jokes. And the lady's like, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> The hand just looks beautiful. Oh, I thought you meant for this. <laughs> a dollar to take a picture. I'm like, oh, a dollar to take a picture, that's funny. And as a joke, I'm like, how much for the for the Michelangelo? How much for this? Give me the last try, twenty dollars. Twenty bucks? Yeah. And she's like, twenty bucks? Twenty bucks? I asked as a joke because I thought she was gonna, you know, swap me reseller. I thought she was gonna say hundred bucks. This would be one of those things where it's like, why? <laughs> People sell these, whether you want it, whatever you want to say about these, for like 200 dollars $200 on eBay. I see people having these things listed for really high prices. As far as I remember, this art style came into play in 2012 and was made by Nickelodeon and lasted five seasons. When she said 20, I was kind of taken back and I was like, wait. I wasn't ready for an actual offer to be made. Should I buy this? Adam, Ricky, should, should I buy this? 15? And I, as a joke, because I'm like, whatever. I'm like, will you take 15 bucks? Huh? Would you do 15 instead of 20? She took 15 bucks. <laughs> I'm buying this for 15 bucks. <laughs> I'm going home with this giant four foot, actually really cool, much cooler than you think, Michelangelo, which is really sturdy, and I'm excited. <laughs> give it to her like that. I actually like this thing more than I thought I would like it. It's sitting beautifully in my kid's room and he loves it. We put a lot of stuff in Michelangelo's shelf. Here you go. <laughs> Thank you. So I'm really happy to have this. Where, Ricky? In our game's room. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh boy. Little Riffy got excited. <laughs> <laughs> I regret everything immediately. <laughs> I regret lots of things.
It's the end of the day, and it was a fun day. We didn't find much, but it was fun. It was interesting. It was awesomely different. Very much want to stress important, especially on an episode like this, is we always say fun's important, but even sometimes to plan some sort of fun or plan some sort of funny shenanigans that might take place because you aren't always going to score on games. For the love of God, I hope this doesn't turn into a regular $5 challenge. That's how to go game hunting. There's your lesson for the day. How to go game hunting with the NES Pursuit. We, we have credentials. We're almost 100 episodes in. That certifies us, stamp, sign, sealed, delivered. We know how to game hunt. Ricky, would you say we know how to game hunt? No. Gabo, would you say we know how to game hunt? Hey, Rifo. Game hunting. You say goodbye and I say hello. Well, see you later. Big gulp, huh? Now you are bar up the squat. <laughs> Here you go, dude. <laughs> you buy that for me? <laughs> Yes! <laughs> well, what'd you just say? Ooh, that's a really good game! Castlevania! Ricky's game. Now you guys are far of the squad. <laughs> don't, don't judge me, I'm sorry. That's the kind of comedy you get on this show. I'm not. Hi, Ciso will be the man! Come on, buddy! You can do it! <laughs> Are you filming still? Yeah, I'm still filming. Dang it! <laughs> you look amazing! <laughs> <laughs> got him in mouth. I don't want to hurt him, he's already got a bad back. Who else goes game hunting with their boss? We are going to be pee pee. You remember Muppet Babies? Yeah. The, the dog with the long ears? You kind of look like him. That dude was legit cool. Uh, no one wants to give a price, so I think it's free. Let it real talk. Who, when they watch, let's be real. Has no idea what Gabo's saying. He's gonna, my wife is gonna be angry. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. The <laughs> day. <laughs> GameCube. See. Well, be real with you. Tell a little secret, daddy. When you know it's worth it, you know. Yeah, <laughs> done. Make Meta Knight spin on top of your umbrella. Go. Oh no, Meta Knight. <laughs> It's the worst day ever. Good game, gift, 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 good, good. Insta crap. I can't see you. No, no, no from no. under, like here. I'm trying to use the phone! <laughs> <laughs> you think I care? Oh, you, you think, think I, I care? care. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Do you guys ever understand what Gabo is actually saying? Well, what? Uh, so, sometimes, but like when he told me to talk to his wife and like say something, I couldn't understand that at all. Oh really? Why are they hosing him down? <laughs> it's right in front of me. <laughs> but look at that, it's, it is pretty for such an old hat. Oh, I'm okay, I don't need it. It's just no. for him, for you, but thank you. <laughs> is it back zoomed out yet? Sorry. YouTube, if you go to YouTube and you hit the trending button and then gaming, boom shakalaka, pixel game squad. Oh my god! Hey. Aww. Well, I cut one of them off. This is bad. He's gonna retaliate. He always retaliates. Riff has an imagination when it comes to $5, like weird, ridiculous things. It was for sale. What's another Pee Wee quote, Ricky? Now you're far up the squad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that pickup show.